Hey everyone, I'm just pulling out my page. Kind of forgot about a competition that we had this month. Not a competition really, but it was like a challenge in one of our groups. Um, it is to use something from the spring summer catalog with one of the five new colors or with at least three of the five new colors. So put my page, make sure I got everything here where I can see it. And I know I'm on pretty late. Oh, okay, I can see Facebook with the notification out. And do, do, do. Let's see. So I'm gonna try this design. Um, I've been wanting to pull out from the family's important thing one, just the family part. So to remove the bottom part, just because it's on a nice banner. Um, and then I'm gonna take the one from the one I did the other night and just do the bottom part with the bee and the leaves because it should match it. The leaves match up the same. Um, so I'm gonna try that and just see how it looks. And I'm gonna actually do it on, <laughs> these are like little plastic plates because I'm thinking I could hang it up in the kitchen and stuff. It's a big family area. So I'm gonna try to do it on this with the chalk paste. Um, this is just a cheap 50 cent plate from that they've got in the, the outdoor kitchen -y kind of area at Walmart. Oh, okay. Make sure I put that up there. Close out that way. Nothing else happened to my page. And if you hop on, you can go ahead and hit like. I know I'm on a lot later than I normally am, which is, is good for people on the West Coast. Okay, uh, let's see, we've got, okay, so you can see everything anyway. Facebook has got a lag on it. So sometimes I just have to, I can't actually see what's going on at the time I'm doing things. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And if I don't like how this turns out, I'll probably do another one tonight, because I'm going to tomorrow, until midnight tomorrow night, just do my submission to see how it comes out. And I'm still playing around with my setup, obviously. <laughs> I'll probably never get it the way I want it. Unless I, like, build an entire craft room from scratch. Okay, so... Let me try to see if I can see if this is going to fit. It does go rounded like the other. So, yeah, that should work. Alright, so... I'm going to fuzz up my transfer. Even though I'm only going to use part of it, I'm going to fuzz up the whole thing. And if it does stick on itself, just pull it apart. Um, if for some reason you get it really stuck on itself where it's gone over, um, just cut some water on it or spray some water on it and that will help loosen it up. And sorry if you can hear the cats meowing. I started letting them out over the past week, which was going great, except for they have brought two different cats home at this point. There was a white one here tonight. It just like walking right through the house. But I have, you know, I left a little area of the window open so the cats could go in and out. That is now closed and they're not happy with me. <laughs> so they're just going to have to learn to have me let them out because they can't be trusted not to bring people home with them. So the other night there was, a, there was a cat in eating their food and it was just weird. They're just making themselves at home. Okay, so... I love the new Shimmer Splash, so I'm going to do the family in the Shimmer Splash. Um, and I'm trying to think, I'm going to do, I think I'll do the border a different color than the family. And try to tie them together. But it's a white background, so I know I want the darker colors to appear. But I like the green too. Ooh, it's going to be a little difficult. Okay. So I'm going to do the outside first of the frame, and even though it's got leaves and stuff on it, I'm going to use the Shimmer Splash. The seal for your protection is the foam seal that comes out on the new formula. Keep it. Just put it back in the lid. It will help um, it last longer and stay moister longer. You don't want it to dry out. If it dries out, you just add a little distilled water, bottled water. Um, the shimmers, every time you open them, they're always nice and flat. They're amazing. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my squeegee and just trying to make sure I stick this down good. I didn't need to fuzz it as much as I did. And I'm actually gonna use some of my tape. I 
haven't opened my chocolate tortilla yet. Um, because the letters are so close to the leaves, I'm going to tape it off a little bit. That way, if I do go over the edge, um, I'm not going to have to try to clean it off after the fact. This will just block me from being able to go through the screen. So you can use any kind of like, I was using like the little wasabi tape, same thing, painter's tape. Um, usually do like a thin thing. And the chocolate tortilla tape actually has little measurements on it, um, which is nice if you, depends on if you care about lining things up perfectly or measuring them out. Um, and it's reusable tape. So after I get done using it, I can actually clean it off and, you know, stick it back on a, a backer and use it again. It's the only tape I know of that's reusable tape. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more along the leaves just because I've tended to be messy lately. So I just want to minimize the risk of me going over the edge. And I'll hold this up so you can see it afterwards. Okay, so all I did was put the tape really close to it, just because I'm doing this just as family part. I don't want to do any of the other part. And this way I don't have to be so careful when I'm putting it on. Um, and I'm thinking of doing the family in a different color. Um, hmm. I want it to show up good. Just don't know if my green's going to be dark enough. Sometimes the green on the white background doesn't come out that dark. Um, I'm going to grab my other green just so I can blend them together um, and do like a messy effect on it. With the messy effect, I'll be able to um, make sure that you can see the green for the family. Because, I don't know, all my ancestry stuff, I like the family stuff to be in green. Green's like my favorite color pretty much other than orange. Anyways, obviously fall colors. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use my little stir sticks to do it. So I'm going to do the blue after and start with the green. Same thing, the sealed figure protection one. And then this is an old paste formula, but it looks pretty good. I'm going to put a little water in it and stir it up because I haven't used it in a while. Anything that you order now is not going to be a um, the old formula. It's all in the new formula, which you pretty much, as long as you keep that foam seal in there, you're not going to have trouble with it. It's going to stay nice and moist and creamy. So you can see the older formula is a little clumpy. It's like, think of it like brownie batter or cake batter when you take it out of the box. If you're not, not making it by scratch, obviously, but from the box, you'll have like the little lumps in it. That's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, you just don't want the big lumps in it. You want it to be kind of like a yogurt texture. So I'll stir up this green to kind of show you what it should look like. So see, almost like a Cool Whip kind of texture. So I'm going to do a little bit of the messy, messy style on the family, which is, oops, that's not going to help me. I'm already making a mess. All right. Hello. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to basically put dots of green in different areas. And then I'm going to go back over it with, um, I just want to get some green in there. The darker colors are going to overwhelm the lighter colors. So you want to be careful how much you put in darker color if you do this technique. Um, now I'm going to put some of the light green on. Same thing, just dotting it around into different areas. Trying not to get the edge because I know I want to do that in the blue if I can. And I'm going to even do the same effect with the blue. And I did get a little bit on the edge there. You can see it's starting to mix together. So, and I'm going to try to do 
maybe just a little dab of yellow. If you're catching this on a replay, I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow on it. Just enough to kind of tie the bottom together when I do the little B. Let's get a little touch of it on each letter. So now that I've got the little dabs on there, and you can even use, you can use a brush to do it. You can use your finger and just smear it around a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my finger because the squee if I use the squeegee to mix them around, it's going to be, it's going to get really close to that line. I want to be extra careful. That, and I can, if I, if it looks like it's getting too much of one color that I don't want, I can just pick my finger up and change it up. When you're doing this with your finger, you're just moving the paste around. Don't push down because you don't want to move the transfer. I learned that the hard way. Um, you want to make sure you keep it nice and light. And I'm getting a little... So it goes a little bit faded. Oh, looks like I missed a little bit of a letter over here. So I'm gonna rinse my fingers off. Grab a paper towel. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take my squeegee and just clean off the excess. I'm not gonna put anything back into jars. Lucy, get down. Loose, 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 loose. Work with me here, Lou. Up down, up down. Okay. I'm just gonna scrape off the excess with a squeegee. And as I do that, it's gonna show me my letters that are underneath all this paste. Where I can see if I missed any areas. And I am moving the transfer a little, so I hope I didn't just mess it up. I hear you, Lou. You could go out and stop bringing people home with you. All right, let's see if I mess it up. If I mess it up, I'm gonna have to clean it and do it again. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the excess paste to the side for now. I know I did move my transfer a little bit. Yeah, I smeared a little, a little bit. I smeared a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I can clean that up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to set it right back because I shouldn't have pulled the whole thing up. So I'm not pushing down where I have that green stuff. Um, now I just want to do the blue around the edge. I got a little ahead of myself and started pulling it up. And I am going to use a small squeegee to do it because a lot of it is um, just the fine line around the edge. This here, I'm going to close some of these up to get it out of the way. I gotta put a little bit of drop of glue on there just to hold it in place. I'm gonna clean off my fingers before I end up sticking them on something. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue around the edge. There's also the detail tool and um, the multi-tool. The multi-tool, one end is the same size as this, which is the, what I'm using right now is the mini squeegee that I cut in half. 
So I guess it's like a quarter of a squeegee. Um, but the detail tool has one that's like less than half of the size of that. It's almost like a little pen. And I'll be using the detail tool to clean up um, the area where I went over the edge. just if you haven't done this before and just putting it on a little thicker and then scraping out the excess make sure I get it nice smooth you don't want lumps of it on there because when you pull it up you'll notice that there's lines from the lumps and we don't want that tape down to help it's allowing me to be a little extra messy and not have to worry about being close on some lines sometimes you have to do the tape if things are really super close um, but usually it's just an option just to make things easier on yourself when you're combining transfers or just using sections of transfers when things are really close together um, I know some of the stencils that I make, that I made for Melissa, some in order to fit a bunch of things on the stencil, some of them are kind of close together, so she can cut them apart, but if you, when you do that, you might want to use something like um, painter's tape around the edge when you're really close, um, just to give yourself that extra room, just in case you go over the edge. The longer you do it, the more that you're likely not to do that, but if for some reason you were doing it and talking like I do on these lives and not pay attention to what you're doing or get distracted by a cat jumping on your laptop, um, it's easy to make a mistake. I do wanna get a little bit. So as you're pulling up, if you notice any areas that look like they didn't go through completely, just go ahead and put it back down and put some fresh paste right on top of it. That'll give you a crisper line. It can happen and things could start to dry. Okay. All right, so All right, I'm just gonna put this in my water bin so that that top part can soak. Um, it'll start to loosen up the chalk paste that's sitting on it. Now I'm gonna try to clean up my family thing while it's still wet. And usually I need to clean up things when I mess up and go over the line on something fine. Just take a Q-tip and dip it in water. And then just clean up the area. You can wait till it gets dry to do it. You don't have to do it when it's wet, especially if you're nervous about getting too close. Um, this just has like a bigger area I want to get and then I can go in and get it a little bit better once it dries completely. And I actually have a little blue line here that shouldn't be there, so I'm just going to erase it. If you're doing it when it's still wet, just be extra careful because you don't want to pull, don't want to pull up anything that's meant to be there. I'm just using the dry end of the Q-tip to pick up the water droplets that are still left behind. All right, 
so that's the first part of it, the family. So I'm not sure how much detail you can see on there, um, but I got the shimmer splash for the border. And then inside for the family, I've got um, meadow, which is the dark green, pistachio, which is the new in vogue color, which is like the Easter kind of light green. And then I got a little bit of golden hour and little sections of yellow. Um, so it just gives it a little bit of like a, not quite camouflage, but maybe like a little bit of a tie-dye kind of feel to it. And the white areas are supposed to be in the letters to give it kind of like an aged look. So I do like how that family part pulled out. So now the idea would be, let me clean this off. It'd be to try to get, hopefully that dries. I'm gonna try to do on the bottom just this little B and leaves. So I'm actually gonna leave this partially on the backer. Just to make it easier when I cover up the family top part, um, it doesn't, that this transfer doesn't pick up anything from the other one. And it might take a little while to get it on there. And I'm just going to fuzz up the bottom part of the transfer. So I'm only fuzzing the part that I'm going to be putting on the plate. And then I shouldn't need my tape. Uh, you might be wondering why do I fuzz up the transfer? You fuzz up the transfer to kind of pick up a little lint on the bottom so that when you're sticky on something that's not like a t-shirt material, um, I'm going to be able to pull it up afterwards easily. It's not going to give me too much difficulty. And it's kind of hard to see from this side. I'm going to try to go like this. And I'm going to do the bee and the leaves. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the sweet to the soul part. So they like family sweet to the soul. So I'm going to start off with the B. I'm going to do the yellow on it. That's a little bit hard. Yeah, I can get that excess off that I don't need. So it's mostly going to be golden hour, but I am going to put a little drop of black on it just to give the B a little you know, these are usually yellow and black. So I'm gonna grab my black shimmer paste, which is, so shimmers, and all the shimmers have great glitter in them. Super fine glitter. Okay, I'm using lots of stir sticks tonight. And I'm just gonna get out a little piece of it and just put like a little dot here, there, here just to give it a little character more on the B. Let's see how that looks. All right, so now I got my little squeegee. I'm just gonna basically, uh, I think I'm gonna mush some more yellow in there. Let's do the yellow off of the squeegee. Sure, get all the areas of the bees, and it is getting a little black, a little too black on this, so we'll clean it up. Remember that the, any when you've got light and dark colors, the dark colors will overwhelm the light colors, so you don't want to use too much of the dark colors. Let 
it should give a nice effect on the bee with the golden hour in black. So it has little hints of black in it and you can turn it off. Okay. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit just to see how my little bee looks. I like it. Okay. So I'm just going to finish it off with the bottom. Um, and I think I'm just going to do it again with Shimmer Splash to tie it in with the top. So we'll see how it looks. Maybe I have to... Well, these leaves have like little dots in there. Um, So now I'm just going to pull it off and see how it looks. When you're pulling it off, just pull nice and slow. Watch what you're doing as you pull it off. So you can tell me if you like how the bee looks or not. Put that in my sheet to dry. And I'm just going to clean up. I got one little area. And it came off. So just clean that up. Dry it up on the other end of the q tip. And it's kind of good. Okay, so those tied it together. I probably could have done the leaves in a green, um, green like I did the family to have it match up a little bit better. If I redo it, that's what I'll do. You notice the bottom leaves look darker than the top. That's just because the top has started to, has basically dry at this point. Um, and the bottom is really wet. And the leaves are a little bit um, thicker on the bottom. Not much. A little bit. So, hmm, I'll think about that. I like how the family came out. And I like how the bee came out. And the bottom leaves. Not too crazy about the top leaves. I have to figure out what I want to do with that. Alright, so that's just like a kind of little easy design that you can do. I probably should have done the sweet to the soul on the bottom. I can always add it though. So once I take my transfers, clean them off, let them dry, I can add anything I want to, to the bottom. Alright, I'm going to sign off. Everybody have a good night and let me know if you have any questions. You can like the video, comment, share, and if you do that, if you do all of that, you'll get entered in a drawing that I have every week. Okay? All right. Night, everyone.